All right, so you've worked out your plan, and bam, you're ready for Gen Con. Well, let's go. This is what Gen Con is probably going to look like on the ground for you. First off, you're going to need to pick up a badge. Or, if you haven't picked one up yet, you'll have to register for one while you're here. If you're a GM, you have to see a different person who will give you some guidelines and give you a GM's packet. Registration isn't too bad, except that at peak times, the lines can get pretty long. If you can get in on a Wednesday or wait until the night to get your badge, you'll have it much better. At some point, you're going to need to go check into your hotel room. Most hotels are arranged around the convention center, but many are within a short walking distance of a couple of blocks. You could go to the Hyatt, the Westin, the Marriott, the other Marriott, the Canterbury, or many others. Important note, late night Gen Con activities go on all over these hotels. And you can find many room parties, events, and demos being hosted all over the place. You just have to walk a bit to get some of them. The amount of activities available for you to do at Gen Con is staggering. You're not going to be able to do everything while you're there. Of course, there's tabletop gaming. And a convention like Gen Con is a great place to try out lots of new games that you wouldn't normally get to try. There are also many people who bring their A-game to Gen Con, with awesome props and terrain, and unique ideas that they wouldn't run normally in a long campaign. So look at the events and see if there's something that looks nifty that you would want to try. If you're a board game, card game, or tabletop minis gamer, there are plenty of opportunities in the respective halls to jump into games at any time. Tournaments are often held, and it's easy to sneak in a quick game with a stranger or a new friend in between any of the longer games you might be signed up for. You can also try out demos of upcoming games, or meet and play with creators who are promoting their games. Hi, I'm C.W. Karstens, designer of Dragon Valley. I'm here at Gen Con, and I'm having playtesters check out uh, a new game that I have coming out on Kickstarter. And uh, Gen Con's an awesome place to get a wide variety of uh, people playing games. With things going on in the convention center, surrounding hotels, and constant trips out to get food, you'll be doing lots of walking through the convention center on the streets and through skywalks between hotels. There are a lot of fun things to see along the way. You can always find something fun to do for a few minutes in between other things, like card stacking, listening to musicians, playing quizzes, or doing paint and takes. you're going to see a lot of costumes. The, the, probably one of the best things about Gen Con that I can think of is all the amazing costumes that you see every year. People love to make and show off their costumes, and it's definitely acceptable to ask to take a picture of people who have next D costumes. There's lots of video game love here as well. You could jump into a game of Artemis, the spaceship crew simulation game. You could play some battle tech in incredibly realistic pods. Or you can just drop into the video game area and play some games while you're looking for something else to do. Hi. Uh, uh, you're learning about Gen Con, I guess, so uh, this is the place you come to destroy your friends in very, very old arcade tournaments. Gen Con has a lot of fun interactive games as well. You could jump into True Dungeon or Terrorworks, a live-action airsoft first-person shooter. If you want to do Gen Con in style, you could get what's called a Very Important Gamer Badge and get access to a VIG lounge. With this, you get access to a lot more impressive swag, a place to sit down, and access to many other areas. Even if you don't opt for a VIG badge, you still have access to a lot of great services. Lost and Found helped me recover everything I bought and left behind on Sunday. And it's always good to know where the first aid station is. There's a business center if you just need to print off a few more things for a game you're running. With things being so spread out, headquarters are set up in official hotels to help people out. Anywhere there's a large number of activities going, you'll usually find an HQ there. Volunteers at Gen Con are great, and they're always friendly and willing to help. Find somebody dressed as a volunteer and ask them a question, and they can usually lead you to somebody who can help you if, even if they can't. Make sure you always beware of the Sunday burn. While there are a lot of restaurant options at Gen Con, one that I want to point your attention to is the Ram. The Ram goes all out for Gen Con, with special menus, renamed beer, great service for gamers. If you've never been to the Ram during Gen Con before, you should definitely try to stop by. Alright, I've saved one of the biggest things at Gen Con for last. Gen Con and other large conventions always have great exhibit halls. They are huge and full of dealers and many things you probably won't see at your local gaming store. You can find things for every fandom and nerd subculture imaginable. 
You can pick up really neat things you can't find anywhere else. You can find incredible game mastering aids. You can always get more dice. You can meet and talk to creators. Tip silver, but we like to call it chrome. Uh, for shadow. You can check out booths for other conventions or for special awards like the Ennies. Sometimes you can play in demos right at the booths. Pick up some costuming stuff. <laughs> what? He looks that good. Always. Meet special guests. And you can pick up the greatest books ever made. Or other books too are good, I guess. One of my favorite parts of the exhibit hall is the art show. In the art show you can walk around, look at art, and buy prints directly from the artists. You can always have some really good conversations here. The checkout process is a bit different though. First, you get a piece of paper from the artist. You take that up to the art show cashiers and pay them. They give you a receipt which you take back to the artist, who gives you the art and they get to eat for another week. Gen Con is an incredible experience. It's oftentimes frustrating because of its size, but it's always rewarding. If you've never been to this or any other large convention, you should make an effort to go at least once. If you can't make it out to Gen Con, you should go to Origins or Dragon Con or one of the hundreds of local gaming conventions that pop up all over. Conventions are awesome places that really drive home how great the gaming community is, even if Doctor Who mistakes my kilt for a Dalek.